<laughs> hey guys, listen, before we start this intro, I just want to let you know, we're picking up a new fish today. And as a part of that, you know, I am getting you guys interested in the new merchandise that I've, I've released, which is this red, white, and blue arowana. Now, granted, I'm not picking up an arowana. I already have one of those. In fact, she's in the, in the tank there. We so kindly refer to her as arowana grande. And in fact, there will be arowana grande merch coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we have this American flag arowana shirt. So if you would like your chance to win this piece of merchandise or a shirt like this one, then all you have to do is stay tuned th during this video. We're going to be picking up a new fish and what I'm going to need you to do is follow the instructions when you get those on your entry. I've, I'll give you all that stuff later on in the video. Make sure you stay tuned through the video and you could win a free piece of merch. Simple as that. So let's get into this. What's going on everybody? Well, we are back for another video. We being me and Max Robert. And we're going to be focusing on this tank build that we did the last couple of videos during vlogmas and hopefully you guys are enjoying vlogmas and i apologize i was going to try to put out a video every day or every other day during vlogmas however i realized that if i tried to do that i was going to be searching for content every single day and i really am trying to make better content for you guys that you actually enjoy hopefully the number of videos that i put out i put out probably three times as many videos as i normally do so hopefully you have liked what i've put out and you're you're liking the content but today's vlogmas episode is going to to be focused around this tank that we built in like vlogmas number six maybe number seven somewhere around there what we did is we scaped this really cool tank with a waterfall and a fog waterfall and all this kind of stuff for less than seventy dollars now i will tell you that the seventy dollar price tag did not include a heater we are going to need a heater in this tank just simply because of where it's sitting in my house it's not going to be in the fish room where the ambient temperature is warm enough to keep the tank water warm so we're going to have to actually put a heater in there to keep the water warm that was not included in the seventy dollar but we are using a free one that was sent to me and I haven't really used it yet and it's a perfect heater for this tank it's actually a really cool heater so we'll show you that in just a minute because we need to get that in there get the water warmed up because we want to go ahead and put fish into this today now as you know we only had a 10 gallon tank and with all the background and everything and because it's kind of styled like a paludarium almost there's only about five to six gallons of water in this tank so we want to make sure whatever we put in there actually will thrive and not just survive so we don't want to put anything crazy in there so we've decided what we're going to get and we're going to be on the hunt for that in just a little bit to go try to find exactly the right fish for this tank with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this today What we're going to be focusing on right now, before anything, is we need to install this heater. And this is a really cool little heater. Tiger sent me this heater. It's an HG970. This thing will heat five gallons of water perfectly. And the nice little thing about it is, is it's got this little click mechanism right here. It's like a button. And then you have a digital display on the actual heater in the tank. So the digital display is actually going to show you what you've set the temperature to. And then after a couple of seconds, it's gonna switch and actually show you what the temperature of the water is so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing in there right now all right guys well here is the heater i've went ahead and unboxed it but essentially what it is is just this little heater right here it's got two suction cups on the back now i was looking in this tank trying to figure out where i was going to put it and i thought about putting it down in here but the problem is it's up against that plexiglass too close and i don't want it melting that or causing any problems so i really didn't think about this when i built this tank out but that's okay the cool part about this heater is is this thing is actually very much hidden all right well we went ahead and suction cup this thing to the glass and pushed it back into this corner and you can't even see that thing back here but i do have the cable here so i'm gonna have to hide that so we now have the heater installed and the cable hidden and the heater is right back there reading a whopping 70 degrees currently. Our next step is actually going to be waiting until this temperature gets up to about 74 to 76 degrees. While we're doing that, we also wanna do a couple more things. I wanna go ahead and test this water and just make sure that this tank is ready to go. We have a test kit from API that they sent us when they sponsored one of our videos over the summer. And we're gonna actually use that test kit to go ahead and test this water. We're gonna make sure that the water is in perfect parameters for the fish that we're going to be getting. So we want to check things like the pH, we want to check the ammonia, we want to check the nitrites and the nitrates, and I have been ghost feeding this tank since I set it up. I use some of the API bacteria to put into this tank. So we have this thing cycling, and it has been for a while. The test has been administered, and luckily enough, this tank has studied. 
because it passed its test with flying colors. The pH is good, the ammonia is good, the nitrites and nitrates are good. Everything in the tank is perfect. While we continue to let this heater heat up the water to temperature, we're gonna go out and we're gonna find us a beautiful little male betta. Yes, I know a betta is not crazy. The, the one we're gonna find is gonna be really cool. So we're gonna actually head out to Aqua Studios, which is the store locally here in the Dallas area that I do a lot of my fish shopping at. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you go check them out. But by the time we get back, the temperature of the tank will be superb and it will be perfectly ready for us to acclimate a beautiful little fish and get it in here. The reason we're doing a betta is because this is a 10 gallon tank that has the full scape background and we put uh, probably about six gallons of water in it. We'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. What's going on guys? Well, if you haven't seen the new Christopher Scott merch at thefanaticbrand.com with the arowana busting through the American flag, make sure you go check out that right now. But right now, we're here at Aqua Studios with my buddy Corey. And see Corey, what happened was, is while I was filming this segment with you, Max had my camera at one point and unplugged the mic on accident. But what we're here for, Corey, is we need a really cool betta. One that's beautiful, colorful, got a lot of light colors on it because it's going into a really cool scape tank. So we want something really colorful. You got anything today, buddy? I mean, I really need a good betta for all my subscribers. Something real, uh, oh wait, you got? Well, of course, Chris, I do have one. Let's go over here and take a look at what I got. There's all kinds of cool bettas over here, Chris. In fact, I got cup after cup after cup of betta fish and more betta fish. Look right here. And in fact, I think this one right here is going to be the perfect betta for you, Chris. Look at it. It's red, white, and blue, just like your brand new Arowana merch that you're wearing right now. And where can you find that? Oh, that's right, at thefanaticbrand.com. See, look, right here, am I even talking about it? I think I remember exactly what we were talking about here. Anyway, that is a perfect betta fish. I'm not even sure what we're laughing about, but I'm pretty sure it was funny because I was laughing pretty hard. I don't know what it was. But anyway, we found us a betta fish, and now we need to box this thing up and get it home now. Now, Corey, aren't you guys running some sort of big year-end sale right now at Aqua Studios? Why don't you tell all my subscribers about it? So all you guys that live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that want to check out Aqua Studios, listen to this huge, massive sale they're doing. Yes, from the 26th through the 31st, we're going to be running our end-of-the-year sale, which is going to be 30% off of all livestock, 25% off of all tanks, stands, and canopies, then also 10% off of all non-map items, and 15% off of all used equipment. So guys, if you were in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you want to come check out this massive sale at my favorite fish store, make sure you come in and see Corey, Brandon, or any of the other guys that work here, and make sure you let them know that Christopher Scott sent you out. All right, guys, well, we are back at the house and we have our beautiful little male betta. And uh, I, I have to say, I mean, what better way to celebrate the launch of the new Christopher Scott merch than with a red, white, and blue betta? I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the water is very dark because there is a leaf in here uh, for the tannins. We're actually going to use that leaf and we're going to put it in our tank as well. But look at this beautiful little specimen of a betta. That thing is going to look sick in there. All right, what I need you to do is go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know. What do you think we should name this beautiful little betta right here? Start commenting away. Would you like a piece of the new Arowana merchandise? If you would, well, here's your chance. I am going to give until December the 31st, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check. And whoever's name has the most likes, that's the name we're going to give this beautiful little betta, and you are going to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch, and I will ship that to you. You get a t-shirt. So that's all you have to do. Comment below, let me know. And you can comment as many names as you want in hopes that yours gets chosen and liked the most. Make sure you drop a comment now. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go get this beautiful little boy acclimated into his new tank and uh let's get him in there he's a cute little guy and he look at that look at him get a good look and yep start dropping names just make sure you're subscribed too and make sure you follow me on instagram and all those kinds of things you don't have to be in order to for your chance to win but it'd be nice if you did you know, I mean, I work really hard on this content for you guys. Hopefully you like it and hopefully you like the merchandise and everything else. It would be really, really appreciated if you'd just subscribe and follow us on Instagram too. We're going to be doing a whole lot more merch giveaways. 
So stay tuned for all of those. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and took the leaf and I've placed the leaf in the tank as well as these floating plants. We're gonna add some more floating plants as well, but we're gonna cup acclimate this, guys. So I've emptied some of the water out and I'm just basically gonna take this cup. We're gonna get us a nice little cup of water here and we're gonna pour it in here and we're gonna keep doing this over the next 20 minutes or so until we have filled this cup completely up and then we'll go ahead and get this fish in here. While we're sitting here waiting for him to be acclimated, I am using some pillow moss and I'm actually adding some moss to this background. So there's some there, right up behind that driftwood over here, but just adding a little bit of detail to it. So we're gonna continue doing that and then we'll get this guy into his new home. Well, this guy has been completely acclimated and we are going to get him in here. And there he goes, look at that. He's just chilling. While he's in here exploring his new home, let's go gather up some floating plants to put in here. Oh, we have all of this frog bit in this fallen tree tank. And as you can see, there's tons of it. And that's what's left because I've already got some. So let's go get this into the tank. Let's go ahead and get this floating plants in here. This may be too much. We'll just see once we get it all in here. Kind of spread out. Actually, I don't think it's too much at all i think it's perfect all right everything in here is looking fantastic well we have this beautiful little red white and blue betta who is straight checking out his new home and, and this tank has just turned out to be something else i mean for 70 dollars plus the heater and the fish i'm really liking this thing but we got all of our floating plants up here we got some more moss added right there we have some more moss added up into the cork there but this thing is looking sick. Just look at this thing. guys well in my last video I, I did an animal tour and i forgot to put the poor little birds in it and look at them they're doing so good all right guys well hey you know i forgot to put the birds in the tour video so i wanted to show those to you real quick but they are looking fantastic everything's going good in the bird cage and uh before we get out of here with this video why don't we uh stop and take a look at um another aggressive feeding with our arowana because the other day during the tour video he just didn't want to eat we're gonna go ahead and feed him again and just see what happens let's let's just take a look all right guys well we're gonna do a little feeding and we're gonna try to do a little hand feeding in the last video Arowana didn't really want to eat anything he wasn't doing very well I guess but today he is hungry and we are going to hand feed him get the GoPro not the food oh he got it so he's hungry obviously No, he just, he wasn't very aggressive. He's full, I think. He's got him a good bit, but hey, you know what we are gonna feed? We're gonna hand feed Gobi McTwire. All right, guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed that feeding of the arowana and everything else. If you noticed, everything was oh, looking good in the indoor pond still today. But listen, I just wanted to stop and say thank you very much for the support and thank you for all of your interactions on the videos and everything else. I am really truly grateful for each and every one of you. If you haven't found the instructions for the giveaway, go back and watch the video and figure out exactly how you can enter for a piece of Christopher Scott merch where you can get either the red, white, and blue Arowana shirt or one of the other Arowana shirts, but make sure that you enter, make sure you comment a name below for this new beautiful red white and blue betta that has taken over home in this new scaped tank with all of that i am truly grateful for each and every one of you and make sure 
that you drop a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that little notification bell because we're gonna be doing a lot more merchandise giveaways coming up very soon here on the Christopher Scott channel as well as make sure that you go and follow me on Instagram if you have not done that already because we're gonna be doing some Instagram specific giveaways only for the people that follow. We are less than 40 people from hitting 5,000 on Instagram. So thank you for everybody that follows me over there. With all of that being said, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. And hey, we will see you next time.